Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Space Engineers here on uh, Planet 26, and it is day 34. So the last episode, we pretty much finished our observation uh, tower, our air traffic control tower, uh, so that uh, it can direct traffic coming in to the base. Uh, so today I wanted to try to get this uh, landing platform done, which means uh, I want to put uh, connectors in. So there will be a connector right here for the drones to land on. Uh, and whatever ship I end up building that's going to be transporting these things up into uh, the asteroid up there where the transfer base will be. The So I'm thinking that I need one for parts that I salvage, like that I'm salvaging down in the uh, where the cobalt mine is. Uh, one for processed ores, so that would be your ingots and whatnot and then one for raw materials, raw ores. So uh, that's what I want to get uh, configured today. So there's going to be three ports, and I need to make sure that they're far enough apart uh, so that they don't interfere. So I'm thinking the... So this is going to be the parts. So this will... It's right up over the storage unit that... Uh, the salvage ship comes in and docks on and so it'll be right here and so they can land right here the next one is the raw ingots uh, or, or the ingots which I'm thinking is going to have to be somewhere about right here so that whatever comes in is not going to have to worry about the uh, uh, control tower and so I'm going to probably have to run piping over from the large cargo bay or cargo uh, bin that is housing the ingots. And so that would come in over here someplace. And then down here on this end, uh, somewhere about right here, uh, I'll have the uh, raw ores. So... Uh, and then uh, probably a couple of little, maybe just a small outbuilding or something like that. Uh, crates, uh, getting the docking uh, platform, uh, some lights, stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to get uh, busy on right now. So let me uh, get going.
Okay, well, I've gotten some progress done on this right here. Uh, I actually have this uh, container uh, connected up through the outside. Uh, I went ahead and put a T onto here just so in case I need more outlets. Because uh, once I put that connector up through there, it was going to pretty much take my last uh, connector into the container. So that's there. I put caps on both sides, so uh, it looks good. Now let's go uh, up top side. And I'll kind of show you what I've done up there. And the idea behind it. So I've got this built in. Uh, I put these on here because I think it looks good. Plus, I don't have to keep going downstairs to get my parts. So I can just grab them from right here. So I've got that in. Uh, I've got these over here. I still have to put the angles going up so that uh, it just looks a little more... Uh, a little more like a connector should be, I think. Uh, it's just not having the connector exposed out. And I've got this one in place over here. So I think we're making progress here. I've got the uh, hazards down and these will have hazards. So uh, let me go ahead and get these started. And then I think the next thing after I get these built in, I want to I think start looking at uh, landing lights. So I've got an idea on how I want to put those in. I've got uh, a couple of ideas. I've got a mod that has uh, strip lighting. And then I've also got the regular uh, uh, lights that I use around the base so that uh, it uh, maybe kind of makes some running lights, stuff like that. So, let me get uh, back at it. Okay, I got my uh, second bin hooked up, which is my uh, ingots. Uh, I started out, 
Well, let's come up here. We probably can see it a little better. I started out trying to come out from the top, and then I was going to have to have a bunch of angles. And then I realized that I had this T-junction right here. So I went ahead and just came off of that T-junction straight up and then straight over. And uh, it's uh, all connected in up above. And so I should be able to go up there and have access up here. We go up here. I should be able to do this. And uh, if I go ingots, which should be right here. Uh, why is that? Uh, oh, that's industrial assembler. Let's go to, that's the refinery. Oh, it should be this one right here. I can get it out of there. That's because I have, have the ingots blocked going out of the industrial assembler. They can come in, but they can't come out. Uh, let's see. So I just have this uh, one to connect up. And uh, so let me uh, get started on it. And once I get it connected up, then I can come back up here and start working on the rest of the platform. So I will catch back up with you once I get this one done down here. And uh, yeah. I have my third uh, bin or my third large cargo bin hooked up and you can see it's green lights all the way up to the connector up above uh, and so uh, yeah I think I think this is actually starting to look really like a nice uh, industrial complex We've got all the pipes running around uh, you can see those that's filling in some of that space if we get up here we look back uh, you can kind of see the uh, conveyor pipes running over there we have the pipes running in from the uh, stone and the iron mill 
so uh, and we've got this one coming up and then this one is coming pretty much straight up and out up and over here and we have the ability to add more pipes on all of these actually the way I've uh, put this in well actually yeah I still got the top available on that and then uh, over here on the ore I put in a T so that uh, I can have more pipes coming in out of here if I have to. Uh, all right, so I guess next step is up above. And as you can see, we've got a raging storm coming on. So let's see what it looks like up there. Uh, and then we'll see how it uh, looks with the storm going on. I probably would like to do this more up in the daylight. So, well, I got to kind of figure out what I'm going to do up here, but I can at least get my components. Actually, it's out of that bin over there. So, let me get this kind of figuring out what I've got going on up here, what I want to do. Uh, I do want to put some more cargo bins and stuff down up here for decorative. Uh, I need to get the running lights in. Uh, some signage and stuff like that and so uh, yeah let me uh, see what I can do on this
Well, I think I'm getting close to being about done today. Uh, I actually got quite a bit done. Probably not as much as I'd like to. I still need some more decorating, so I'm not going to get the platform done today. But I did get lighting in, and I'm still trying to figure out additional lighting. Uh, I, uh, I like these lights around the docking area where uh, the drones and ships will come in and dock. And I like this here where we can get up and into here. Uh, and it uh, provides some protection as the thrusters and stuff coming in for the connector that's in there. Uh, I am thinking about putting up these rotating lights. At least two of them up here. And then to try to program something in, some sensors, so that uh, these will rotate and come on maybe when there's uh, ships in the area or when they're getting ready to land and I think I can easily do that with a sensor uh, on uh, the different sides here uh, put the sensors up so that they cover the area uh, up and around uh, but that's uh, that'll be for another another day matter of fact uh, let's go over to my list. I, we haven't done that in a while, so let's go in there. I actually made some updates to it. Uh, so let's go over to the, uh, my uh, task list and we'll add uh, the rotating lights and the sensors. And that way uh, we have it on the list because I've got other stuff over here. I might have to have just a day of doing sensors because I do have, like right here, uh, light signage on the dock. That's probably kind of done, but I've got door sensors. So let's see if we can, let's put uh, something like this. Uh, ah. There we go. Uh, space. Uh, rotating row rotating lights landing pad uh, but as you can see I've got some other stuff done uh, I've moved some stuff over here to this one uh, these are particular mines. One of the things that I wanted to accomplish in this build was to find all of the minerals here on the planet. And I think I've just about done that. The only thing that's left to find is a is platinum. And so I've got to make a platinum mine. Uh, I know where silver's at and I know where gold is. I just haven't found the platinum yet. And I've got the uranium. I just, that uranium is deep. And so I'm not sure how I'm going to set the mine up for that. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's our task list. I'm uh, going to try to get back in here and really uh, focus on this task list a bit more than what I have been. And so, uh, yeah. So we'll start uh, kind of checking things off. All right, well, let's head back out over here. Uh, managed to get some stuff done. I got uh, the uh, connectors all piped in and, and built, and so that's good. And we got lighting, and we've kind of got the uh, bases for the uh, landing platform pretty much started, so. Okay, all you space engineers out there, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, it really uh, helps out the video. Uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell. That uh, will uh, let you know when I uh, upload new videos. And please leave comments. It's always nice to hear from you guys to see what you think of uh, the base. And uh, always looking for suggestions on it. Uh, so, yeah. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low. Keep building away. And don't get shot. And with that, 
Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.